Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. This is my latest preview video for my upcoming Saturday premiere. This is the start. Well, I would say, well, it's, it's sort of the start. I have begun the prep work and making some of the parts here. But, uh, let's get started, shall we? We're going to be making the Ice Dragon. One of the cut candidates from Subnautica that I have to say, uh, in the beginning I was kind of... In the beginning I was a little bit indifferent to not having the Ice Dragon, but I have to admit, I, I kind of miss it now. The Ice Dragon is quite an amazing looking creature, and if they were willing to have the Sea Dragon Leviathan from the first game, which seemed kind of outlandish and crazy, then I think the Ice Dragon would be a great, uh, it would be a well, I think it would be a welcome touch for the most part to add to the game, but then again, what would the biome look like, I wonder? I think there was a biome that was actually not too far from the void that was actually supposed to house uh, the creature and was supposed to be like a giant version of the ice spires, like an ice castle or something. But there's a lot of things, and I mean, it's pretty crazy. They even went so far as to having a 3D model and even colors made for the creature. And, uh... I'm going to try to replicate as best as those colors as I can get. But uh, we'll see, shall we? As you can see, I'm starting on the head. The head sort of has these horns that kind of sweep up. And uh, it has this... It's weird. The head is kind of split in half. And then the eyes are kind of in the center, sort of more or less towards the neck. But the mouth is so large that the mouth actually opens and the eyes stay put. So it actually opens kind of like that. It's pretty crazy. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe below zero, maybe the biome, maybe the entire map is just too small to have a creature like this, or, or something like that. I don't know. But they ended up cutting it from the game. Kind of sad, but, uh, at the same time, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a good idea. I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Don't know whether or not it would be a good idea or not to use this creature for the game. But it'd be interesting to see what sort of plans they would have had for this creature, because as we know, with the Sea Dragon Leviathan, that creature actually, like for example, it actually had the ability to, it could, it could ingest molten lava into its body, and then actually, let's see, what it could, oh yeah, it could uh, ingest lava and then spit it out. And then it would spit it out either in one large burst like that, or it would actually... Yeah, sorry about that, I was just concentrating here. So there's the start of the head. And now what I need to do is I need to add a little bit to the bottom here to sort of start the mouth. Because the mouth, it's... It is very... God, it is a very... God, it is a startling looking creature, isn't it? I'm just looking at one of the pictures here I'm using for reference. And let's see here. So this... Can go over here. There we go. Just got some relaxing sort of ocean piano music in the background. It's pretty cool. There we go. So the mouth kind of bends down like that, and then the eyes are sort of back here in a way. And the mouth kind of opens up like that. But now what I need to do is I need to line the inside of the mouth like so with my thumb and my finger to kind of make that inner jaw sort of profile. And here we go. So now let me widen that up a little bit. So there we go. There's like the sort of there's the head. The the this this inner sort of part right there. Let me blend that in so that way that looks. There we go. So there's the start of the head. Let me go ahead and even that up like so, because it, it basically tapers to a point like it's a horn. And it seems like the back of it kind of sweeps up like this. It's actually not too dissimilar from the Queen Alien sculpture that I made 
while ago. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can go check it out by clicking this card right up here. That's the video that I did of the of the Queen Alien, which is still my favorite movie to this day is Aliens. Absolutely. I've watched that movie over a hundred times, and I never get tired of it. It's one of the greatest movies to me, in my opinion. It's one of the greatest movies ever made, and certainly one of the greatest science fiction movies ever made. You know, people would argue that the first Alien is better. The first Alien is better in a different way. The first Alien is much scarier. But the second one is is much more palatable for a wider audience because it has the action and it's not quite so slow. Okay, let's move on to the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw is a little bit smaller than the top. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to take a little bit of this light blue eventually and sort of put it on the bottom of this and blend it in to with the color sort of ideas that I'm using. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see here. Okay, so there's like the sort of the bottom jaw, and then it also, I just happen to notice it has these little horns that kind of stick out from the side. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my gray here, pinch a piece there, and then pinch a piece right there, and then have that for the bottom, kind of curve this up a little bit, give it a little bit of a curve like that, and then I'll deepen inside of here. Now the one thing I do notice about the Ice Dragon is that it has very thin teeth. The teeth are very, very thin on this animal, so I'd have to, I'll have to be... And it looks like, at least the picture that I'm looking at, the teeth look like they're, look like they're black in appearance. At least black in color anyway, so we'll have to, we'll have to make do with that. So let me go ahead and curve this back and up. Curve this back and up, and I think there's the bottom jaw, so the creature kind of sits kind of like this, in a way. But the jaw kind of stays open because of the teeth, so... Oh, sorry about that. Now, another thing I noticed with the picture that I'm actually using for reference is that this creature actually has... what looks to be like a like an this color of an inner mouth, an orange, which looks... which is very strange, very strange indeed. It's certainly, uh... Certainly a takeaway from that. There we go. So I was just switching up the music real quick. So, my God, how does that look? So it looks like the whole inside of the jaw there is kind of kind of shaped like this. So you got the, the jaw that kind of looks like this in a way. So it kind of looks like that with the orange in the middle. And then it has this, it has like, a, it almost looks like a pharyngeal jaw, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's pharyngeal. I think it's actually more like a, it kind of looks like the, it kind of looks like the barrel from a cannon is what it actually looks like, which could be the thing where it actually opens its mouth. And then I'm assuming that the creature would actually have some sort of ability like it would be similar to the brine wing, where it'd actually be able to shoot like super cold salt water out of its mouth and eventually be able to I guess subdue its prey or 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 get rid of any sort of imminent threat. But the other question is this creature is this creature's big. I could not imagine what see there we go. So there's the start of the head of sorts right there. So let me go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop with the head right now. And there's another feature on the back, which I'm going to use this. It's some sort of, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of like growth that has this, I don't know what it's, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a giant plate that kind of sits on top of the creature's back. I have no clue what it would be used for, but it certainly looks interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm just kind of looking at the picture here. So what I'm going to do 
is actually bend this down like this. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll flatten this with my hands and then kind of roll under so it splits it like that. And then what I'll do is I'll pull the clay and roll it with my finger so that I can roll it out to a point like so and then bend this back but what would you think do you think that that would be a good idea that it, this creature would be essentially it have the same effect as the brine wing that it could actually shoot a uh, super cold liquid out of its mouth and it would actually be able to freeze things like not only the player but also maybe even the sea truck and the prawn suit that would be pretty crazy and then imagine if it grabs onto your grabs onto your prawn suit and can crush it just like the sea dragon leviathan can on the first game. I mean that seems that seems pretty that seems pretty logical for the most part. That that's what that creature would do. I don't know. It's very interesting. But uh, let's see here. So that's gonna go on there just like like that. And then looking at the picture, there's a couple of other pictures here that I'm looking at. weird so yeah so the so this this sort of back piece it kind of splits off even more like so and then it kind of bends up and then down a little bit like this so it kind of sits on there like that I don't know that's the picture that I'm looking at here if you want to see the picture this is uh, this is kind of what it looks like there it is that's the one picture of the ice dragon that I'm kind of looking at it from the side. Look at that. There's your, there's the sea moth. That shows you how old of a concept this was. They hadn't even really come up and finalized the sea truck yet. But uh, let's see here. And then there's the picture of it with more color. That's kind of what I'm basing it off of. That is an incredible looking thing. But you can see what I mean by the orange. You see how the orange right in there? And then you got these stripes that go all the way down, which is going to be what the blue is for. And I also have a little bit of purple to kind of blend in with some of the areas. And then there's the head crest. But yeah, there is... That's what I was looking at for the ice dragon. <laughs> there we go. Just put it back in my mouth here. So that's kind of the idea of what it looks like. I may be changing some of the colors around, but there's the start of the head. And then there's that sort of uh, the, the piece that's going to be sitting on the back like that. But uh, if you've watched all the way up to this point, here's uh, here's gonna be here's gonna be a little reward. I actually already started making the body. I got the back tail piece right here, and I got the sort of contrast with the gray on top and the light blue sort of iridescent underneath. And all this blue right here is going to be for the stripes. There's gonna be one long blue stripe going down the back, and then there's gonna be longer stripes that go all the way up the body. But then the head is essentially going to be sitting, let me see if I can fit this right, it's going to sit sort of sort of in there like that. And then the bottom jaw is going to go about there, so there's, there's the start of it pretty crazy here the jaws kind of off center there we go so it's going to sit like that and then that back piece is gonna go about here so look at that there's the start of it actually hang on that back piece comes up a little bit higher so about there is what it looks like and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna add on these individual stripes because you can see this is iridescent as well. This was actually one of my older sculptures that I actually uh, just mashed and mixed the colors together because I liked the color combination. It's a mix of sort of blue, gray, blue, and black, which ended up working really well. It's going to look really good for this creature, but there you have it. There's the start and the continuation of the upcoming Saturday premiere, The Ice Dragon. So with that, if you like videos like this, don't forget to leave a like down below, and remember to subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications, so you don't miss the next video. And for those of you who are interested, if they wish to contribute further, I do have a paypal.me, you'll see that in the description down below. And any little bit would be appreciated, but if you leave a like and subscribe, that's totally free, that's fine too. 
So with that, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you on the Saturday premiere, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for The Ice Dragon. <laughs>